Hello, dreamers, listeners. Welcome to the dream stream of consciousness. I am Yiska Cook. And I'm Ellen Ronis. And we already, we get started talking and it's also interesting and I want to share it on the podcast. So um, please talk about the progression or how it feels like this dream that you're going to share with us today is a follow-up from the past dream. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So as you know, okay, this is a weird hair thing going on here. Um, <laughs> as you know, well, if you've been listening, um, yeah. I have a lot of dreams about clothing, like mm -hmm. a lot. And um, it feels like lately I've been dreaming about clothing, but it, it's like they're up leveling and they're becoming more artistic and more organized and really creative garments. So <clears throat> last week there was that I was having a choice um, of all of these different like handmade, beautiful, like sort of, I don't even know how to describe them. They were just applique and sequined, mm. and, you know, just gorgeous things. This recent dream that I had a couple of nights ago <clears throat> was there wasn't a lot of choices. It was just one woman was modeling a shirt that was this kind of net, which was the same material in the last dream. Yes, yes. Um, where there were things like woven in and out of this kind of netting or like tool or some kind of a woven, like an open woven fabric. And then it had like things woven into it and very beautiful. This one was like a shirt that was net and it was, you know, tight against the, the body. And the model or who, whomever this was, I don't know, she had my, her back to me and the, it had long sleeves and it was tight against her body. And, but it was totally open. There was nothing on it. No uh, artistic things. It was just the net. And I was like, you can't just have that. It's totally see-through. But then she turned around and the front had many layers of colors and things, you know, appliques and different fabric and stuff like layers on top of layers to make this beautiful thing and of course it covered her body so so it turns out it was really sexy and beautiful because it was kind of see-through in the back but then the front was you know this gorgeous piece of it's, art it really. sounds so beautiful it's so beautiful yeah I mean it's like nothing I would ever wear in waking life because it was <laughs> what we call angapachka you know and <laughs> <laughs> There's like too much, too much things going on, but <laughs> no better word than a Yiddish word. It's um, true. Right. For so many situations. Yeah, so many situations, exactly. Um, so anyway, that was the whole thing. And um, that was the whole thing. That was it. It was just like a snippet, but it was just like, wow, this feels so much like the next step of whatever these clothing dreams that I have. Yeah. Like that there's something happening there feels like that in my own psyche there's something happening it's leveling up it's more creative it's thinking a little bit maybe thinking more out of the box which is kind of yes what i'm working on in waking life yes <laughs> in it not in actuality but internally sure so yeah. do you have a title for the stream um wearable art wearable <laughs> art I like that and so I think we know um this this string of pearls of dreams that are leading us in this progression um so I can't help but wonder all, all the ribbons so that's making me think of the ribbon dresses and I'm especially thinking of South American native mm. uh, South American who who weave the the ribbons and, and I think even even in North America there's the ribbon shirts and I can't help but thinking that this also has like a ceremonial aspect even though it's maybe more of like a shirt you'd wear to an elegant gathering it feels to me that all the woven things feel more significant. Mm. I like that. I like the, the, the sort of idea of 
weaving, so to speak, <laughs> the yes. concept of, uh, I don't know, spirituality, ritual, yes, culture in yes. the context of, the, of art, of the art. Itself. I love that. That's beautiful. That's it feels like they should go hand in hand. Yeah, I love and that. often they do. Yes, yes. I mean, clearly, like certain, you know, cultures, art, particular cultures, art is part of their religious. Yes, part of their culture. Practices. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. That that really that hits me in a in a kind of a good place. Um, yeah, yeah. If I may say one other, if it were my dream, if it were my dream, <laughs> projective mm -hmm. dreamer. Um, and this is from something in my past, but when I, you can see my back, I think, right, just through this yes. netting, and yes. um, and it's like, it, sorry, bring, sorry, there you are. <laughs> okay, um, well, I'm gonna just say it in a different way. I I once many many uh, years ago had a dream about Barack Obama. This was before he was elected president, and um, and or it might be before his second term. And I was hugging him, and what felt so prevalent were was his back. He's like back bones. I remember feeling his back, and um, and and uh, two other examples of this that I will share possibly, but like, I have your back. Like, who has my back? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's behind, or, or it makes me think it's behind me. Like, what's the back? So that mm -hmm. means it's behind me. Yeah, that's, a, well, and all, there's another detail that I'm remem remembering is that on this model, right. women have like, um, birthmarks you know like spots kind of okay back, yes kind of and just all over her back and and there was something to that for me like as like and then there's this see-through garment it's almost like yeah. the vulnerability somehow is how it feels oh, yes. like that I'm vulnerable back there like I can't really right. see that I can't really know you know okay uh, I can't really see that it's vulnerable. I don't know why that's vulnerable because it just is what it is, right? It's but somehow, you know, we cover up those things that we think of as maybe uh, I, it, you know, in my interpretation of like an imperfection kind of thing. Oh, okay, it's imperfection. Okay. When I was looking at it, it was just beautiful, and it was just her skin. Sure, but sure. I could see it, you know. And um, that's so interesting. Yeah. So something about not covering up the vulnerabilities yes. the, real, the real her whatever it was you know the freckles and spots and all like this yes. was she was in that it, you know in yes. the back. and and yet there was a modesty you know in the front it wasn't like uh you know yeah yes you know it yes. wasn't that sort of careless reckless kind of thing it was it was that makes me think of the expression watch your back it's like a threat oh you better watch your back uh -huh. Oh, so that's interesting. Yeah, right. So, we don't, yeah, it was very unprotected, interestingly. Yeah. But, so, but the front was really protected. I mean, that that's interesting. I'll have to think about that one more, how that relates to yes. me. Yes. It was definitely notable, you know, that that I could see her yes. thoughts and marks and things on her back. And yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, what's behind me? What's what am I protect? You know, protecting, not protecting, vulnerabilities. Yeah, it's funny and such a small little thing, like as usual, right? Those small little dreams. Yes, you can just really. I wanted to talk more about the model. If I'm every person and object in my dream, I am her, and mm -hmm. so I'm standing here with this beautiful artistic like fabric art you know like textile art or mm -hmm. um and and I'm showing it off and I'm I feel good enough you know and not even good enough I feel beautiful 
wearing mm. this. Mm. And um, and though my back is somewhat exposed, it still has that sheer cover over it. Mm. Yeah, maybe like there's a willingness to kind of start to shed some of the layers you know mm. beauty underneath to see the beauty and accept the beauty and accept what is accept the warts That's, and all that is it it's radical yeah. acceptance yes which is interesting because i literally am listening to tara brock's book called radical acceptance which i already read no way <laughs> like just got off like from listening to it it's a such a, it's such a beautiful book radical that's, acceptance that's Tara. so interesting <clears throat> you know synchronicity synchronicity yeah. well, that's, that's why, I, that's why i have the dream because i have been listening to it and it's like you know oh okay what came first the chicken yeah, what, or the egg <laughs> I, what came first? But I mean you know those clothing dreams that. That are coming forever and ever so Tara um, Brock. i'm gonna i just i just uh, uploaded a library app and having, I think it might just be Mid Hudson. Mm -hmm. I'm, sure, I'm sure there are other. We groups. have that as well here, like where you can, if you have a library card to a local yes. library, you, yes. they have all kinds of programs that you can, you know, books on audio, not audible. Audi like audio books. books. Audio but that's books. Right. Yeah. I'm going to listen to that. Tara Brown. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks. Highly recommend it. It's absolutely wonderful. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very so, Yeah. So I'm um, really excited to see what is radical acceptance yeah and how how do we radically accept ourselves and you know actually it kind of, that goes right into the dream that i had last night which okay. was another Let's very cool snippet i'm in some kind of a what feels like a yoga studio or a dance studio that has you know sometimes the studios sell clothes yeah or like clothes for yoga clothes for dance whatever yeah and i'm with my friend patricia in the dream and um I go to try on a, a skirt that is kind of iridescent. It's so interesting mm. with the fabrics. It's yeah. kind of, you know, blues and, you know how like, like oil slick has this yeah. kind of fully blue, you know, iridescent. It sort of had that in an ombre, like it went from darker to lighter. And it was just a skirt, whatever. And I put it on, I was just trying it on and I was going to wear it for the class even though I didn't buy it, I was just going to like sneak it kind of, <laughs> but, but I was like, how does this look? And my friend Patricia said, she was so like annoyed with me. She was like angry almost. She's like, it makes you look really fat. It makes your ass look fat. <laughs> Cause I was wondering, does this with like friends like these, <laughs> she would never say that in waking life ever, ever, ever. She, she's the opposite of that. She's always like, Oh, will you stop it already with that? You know, she's the opposite of that. Uh -huh. But in the dream, she was like, I mean, she was so mad and I couldn't figure out why she was so mad. I was like, okay, it doesn't look good on me. But like, there was something, it, it almost felt like a disgust at me towards me, like, because I had a, big ass <laughs> and uh um and then it also got dirty and I was I dripped something on it and I was like shit I didn't pay for this and I was trying to clean it off with something and it didn't quite work I was just wanting to put it back on the hanger like nothing happened here I didn't wear this I didn't make it dirty um and yeah so there was like a little bit of a kerfuffle about that like taking it off and having already worn it and gotten it dirty and stained and stuff and wanting to put it back on the hanger, pretending nothing happened. Um, <laughs> the whole thing. Uh, yeah. Is that, that it? That's the dream? That's the thing. That's <laughs> the thing. But this is also juicy for me, being in a dance studio, which is yeah. like life movement and dance is like, is it for me? Yes. And um, yeah, I don't know this. Yeah. So, Am I teaching this class? If I'm the dreamer, I'm teaching this class. No, no, I'm I'm taking the class. So, um, have you ever done anything like that? <laughs> no, <laughs> not that I can remember. Not that I can remember. No, I feel no. like I may have done that, but with the yoga mat, because uh -huh. I wanted to see if I, because it was a different. Uh, materials and other ones I wanted to see how mm -hmm. it would be so I took a yoga class on a mat and then I bought it mm -hmm. but I wasn't gonna like sweat on it 
put it away. <laughs> Which is kind of what I did. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. So I was really, I really used it. I really, I don't know what that means. Like trying, I don't know, trying something on and just deciding it isn't for me. I don't know. Ombre. I don't... So if you said ombre, so that means like fading in color? Yeah, you know, like something will start maybe like blue and then kind of add different colors and it goes up to, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. for some reason, ombre, I always saw, or just in this moment, that that was like orange, like a deep orange. Oh, you're thinking of umber. Like umber. Umber is like a gold in okay. gold color. Yeah. Uh, so there's this is just yeah. a blue skirt. Ombre well, ombre, it doesn't it isn't a color, it's a um how do you even describe it? It's like you've seen people with hair, you know, like where it's like one color here and then they dye the bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right? cool. Or like one color that fades into or, or not fades, but turns into another color as it goes up. That's Love it. All. Yeah, it's not necessarily a particular color. It's just kind of a sequence of not even sequence. I don't know the word for it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Of color. I can I can imagine like you know color strip or whatever. Like it was very beautiful know. actually. I remember that again. Like again, the the the, the, the uh, you know the the colors and then the it had almost like a metallic feel. Like oh yes, does it remind you of any garment? you may already have no <sighs> not at all no mm -hmm. I, but it somehow feels like again these last three garment dreams feel like way up leveling up leveling yeah. the garment Wait, you keep saying that what does that mean to you up leveling um like I'm no longer trying on other people's old things to see like, oh, maybe this would be cute on me or this would, you know, like other people's stuff, you know, oh, or even, cool. my, even my old things, you know, in a closet full of old things, you know, or digging in the back of closets. I've had that kind of thing too. It's like yeah. these things are just right there. Like first they were hanging up and I had some choices. Then it was just that one garment on the model. Now it's yes. just one thing that I'm actually taking off the the rack and putting on me. Mm -hmm. I mean, that actually, there's something about it that really feels uh, like just true to what's what's happening in a way in my, uh, yeah, in my waking life, like just, yeah up leveling how do I how else can I describe that up leveling um I don't know more, more beautiful more artistic more expressive um more ceremonial also it has that, that aspect in it ceremonial less less about scrounging around for something to try yeah. again hi does this fit and is this cute and yeah. have, maybe i'll try this thing and this little ruffly thing that's somebody else's but Less i'm trying about to... trying to fit into yeah a maybe. mold that is not one's own it's almost like i'm creating my own thing yeah thing on my own. i like, love it i would uh, love for i was just a suggestion but totally you don't have to do this don't feel like this is putting anything on you but I would love to put all of those dreams because they go back yeah, to the, the shoes dreams oh and the, and the, you know going up into someone else's closet and mm -hmm. I would just like them all put together in the progression and I want to read them all and see if uh you know what what am I learning from yeah. this yes I mean I love that I love that even just to think about that, you know. Right, right. I keep having right now, I'm having this image of one of the dreams. I remember picking up something that was like like a room full of clothes, like okay, you know, like, I, like I was in kind of a performance, and there was a lot of people, like the, the actors and actresses, whatever, and we're all in this room, and all of our stuff is kind of on the floor. And I remember picking up something that was like red with some like frilly sleeves or something that's so not oh. a I wear. Mm -hmm. And I just remember trying it on, just going, oh, this is so different for me. And just 
trying it on like a different person almost. For oh some reason, my gosh, I love that. One of the past dreams. Um, yeah, I think it's, it feels like, I like that idea actually of see, I mean, I don't know that I could ever go back because my dreams are interwoven with old journals and things. So oh, right. You've told me that. You don't, really don't keep it separate. That's but why I, I'm wanting to put them all together. Yeah, but I could imagine, I can just imagine, like I can sort yeah. of feel into that. And, you know, the the feeling of it is kind of, we are, I think we already alluded, said it or alluded to the fact that, um, you know, rather than trying other people's things on me, it's almost like I'm, when you're young, you know, you're sort of looking to other people to sort of reflect who am I, because we don't really know, right? We look right. to our parents and then we look to our friends to how to do, you know. We look to our boyfriend. Boyfriend. And then the next boyfriend. And the husbands. You know, and the parents. Like, yeah. It's always, always about like, how do I, not, not necessarily, fit, yeah, fit in, but also who am I? Who am I, right? And so it feels a lot like, yeah, those, the pat, like they're leading up to, they're all leading up to something, trying different things on. First, it's my own old stuff, then it's other mm -hmm. people's things, then it's another person's closet, and then it's different mm -hmm. shoes. And, mm -hmm. and, and now it feels like it's something that's, that got created for me. That's just. And if my dream, let's, let's say it's universal or at least between dream buddies, my dream of can't find my shoes. Yes, there's a, right. there a lot and of those. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Dreams can't find my shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Shirtless and shoeless. <laughs> Riding uh, the bicycle. Actually, I don't know if you were shoeless on the bicycle. I can't quite I remember. remember oh my God, there was so much. <laughs> was like, oh, was like a horse at some point? Yeah. Was like, it's a different that, dream. That was you. <laughs> That horse. <laughs> yeah. So is there anything else you'd like to know about the stream? I guess that the one thing I'd like to know about the, you know, the, the most recent dream with the skirt is um, why was my friend so angry? Like, why was she so, um, I don't know, like disgusted or angry at me about it? Like not, not that I, it didn't, it didn't seem like she was angry that I asked the question. It seemed like she had was having reaction to the fact that I look not good in it, and I'm I don't I don't get that part of it. So I'm curious. So let's play. And dreamer is every character in the dream. So if the dreamer is that woman, just talk right off the cuff. What do you have to say? Um, like I'm so irritated that you keep asking that question. That it's that it matters to you so much. Um, like who cares? Everybody's body is whatever it is. Like, you know, it's you're not special. Um, you know, like, I don't know, maybe can can you can you can you uh can you just accept the body you have? Can you actually appreciate the body you have? Um I'm tired of having to, um, what, what, what's, what's the word? Appe like appease you or yeah. Like, yes. Like, you know, to talk always, to you, you up. Know, you look fine. You look good. You look okay. Like, why do you care so much? Yeah. 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 Why is this such an issue that your body is this way and can you just accept it? And, um, so maybe that's, yeah, that feels to me, you know, at first, I was thinking she was like, oh, my God, the class is starting. You're wasting our time. Why are you putting that on? Then you have to pay for it. We don't have time. We just have to go right in. And that's why I was feeling that she was frustrated. Mm. But, um, but yeah, I, I mean, there was a little bit of that, you know, the, the class, okay. was, but, but it wasn't that wasn't the main. Thing. Yeah. The main thing was definitely like, what is this obsession I have with my, you know, rear end? Yeah. I would just, if this were my dream, I would play that song. Uh, how does it go? I must admit that I like big butts. It doesn't go like that. How does it go? I, I, I would listen to that because <laughs> big butts are awesome. 
according to some people. It, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie, but I like big butts. <laughs> Another fat bottom girl. <laughs> oh, fat bottom girls. You make the, you bring the rocking world <clears throat> to something. Oh, I love it. Right, Cross isn't it? generations. <laughs> See, fat bottom girls have always been the hotties. <laughs> I mean, people are putting like butt injections. If you, I know, I know. Stain and horribly wrong, in my opinion. But I, I, I agree. Well, I saw a funny <laughs> comedian talking about when, you know, when uh, silicone boobs were the big thing. And he was talking about, well, if, if you ever like fall off a boat or something, that, that would let you float, you, you know. Float. <laughs> and that's what he's saying. He's saying, I'm worried about the girls today because they're putting the injections in their butts and then they're going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> you said it a lot funnier. And for those who are listening and not seeing, you can imagine <laughs> it was funnier than it actually may have been. <laughs> yeah, but, but up. But, but up. Please down. Uh, <clears throat> so... Ellen, is there any way you can um, honor the stream? Um, I just am getting this sense that I'm wanting to create something, not like exactly like that piece of clothing, but to create um, from the part of me that used to be a textile artist. <laughs> That's what I was just going to say. So you used to be a textile artist? Yes, yes, did I did. Did you make I clothing? Didn't... No, I never did make clothing, and I didn't mm -hmm. do anything remotely like those pieces of clothing in my okay. nor would they be something I'd be that interested in creating. But, but um, I also have recently had dreams of very particular painting on silk, which is something I used to do. Oh. So I keep... It's, I I would like to do that soon because that image is starting to fade a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Very specific in my dreams. So, um, you know, I think maybe, I don't know, maybe. That's how the great artists of the world know the musical pieces that they hear, you know, the symphony of the spheres, or mm -hmm. they dream, you know, the, the sewing machine, you know, all, all these things that happen in the dream so if this were my dream and I was an artist and very artistic I would love to create painted silk or something that would be a wonderful thing for me to do yeah yeah and I'm just I'm just also getting the feeling of um creating out of the box I guess yes pieces were so out of the box you know they were so out of like what most people would actually wear or is <laughs> any, any, even hot couture stores it's just like not you know wouldn't mm -hmm. be there um mm -hmm. yeah it makes me want to sort of create create a little bit out of my own box you know yeah so what I used to do would be like you know there's a piece of silk like a scarf like a long narrow piece and I would tack it on and do a mm -hmm. thing I almost feel like even that, like do something different. Like, I don't know, sew pieces together, or, you know, and I don't really sew, but <laughs> whatever. Right. You know, just thinking out of the box, I guess, is all. Staple, staple yeah. pieces. Somehow, you know, or, or, or cut pieces and, you know, so that yeah. there's, I don't know, just, yeah, I don't know. Sounds fun. Sounds like an yeah. great and Will I actually do it is the question, because, you know, but I, yeah, I like the exploration. I like it. Yeah. Wonderful do something like that and just to keep thinking out of the box to keep yeah. that kind of the, the, the thing for me right now is you know instead of being in what's comfortable mm -hmm. what I always do mm -hmm. um to just kind of like yeah what would be this the next leveling up yeah I love it I'm seeing like <clears throat> I mean I guess these aren't necessarily levels because I can't say that pottery is higher than dance or anything like that, but I'm just, you know, creating these different arts and feeling so 
good about this creative exploration. And so uh, I'm glad it feels like leveling up. I'm glad it feels yes. juicy to, to yeah. do. It has the juice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it does actually, it does actually feel like maybe also taking myself seriously, you know, as an artist, which I, mm. I you know, I haven't always, mm -hmm. um, yeah, always, I'm, I've been an artist since I was a kid, but I, I never just did it full on, you know, mm -hmm. always like fitting it in between other things, mm -hmm. taking myself more seriously. Yeah. I like and that. just to say, I don't think leveling up means better necessarily. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, this is, this is better than that. It's right. just yeah. the next level deeper to my soul, maybe, you uh, know? Oh, I love it. Right. And inwards. That's just, beautiful. I love that. Right. Just the leveling has like, looks like construction scaffolding, you know, <laughs> but yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Something like that. So thanks, thanks for listening to all those. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Um, we should say goodbye to the listeners. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening, listeners, and Holomode Metu King. <laughs>